Hello, BookTube. Hey, everybody. This is the first video we've done in quite a while. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna kind of explain where, where we've been, um, what we've been doing, all that stuff. So we'll, we'll, we'll start with that now um, and get that out of the way. Um, so yeah. you go ahead. But after, after that, we also have a book haul for you. And, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so um, last couple of months, uh, Scott's been feeling really, really kind of awful. Yep. Uh, just sort of run down, not sick, sick as a general rule, yeah, constantly. Pretty, just pretty um, constant. We're pretty sure he had a, a case of COVID in um, October of November, last year. November. November of last year, and it's still sort of kicking his butt. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it affected me for months, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it was bad. Yeah, so... Yeah. so was it two weeks ago? We started a uh, we started a, key, a keto diet. Um, it's it's not your not your normal uh, the the keto oil stuff and uh, snake oil stuff that a lot of people try to sell you. It's it's just trying to kick ourselves into ketosis and stay, stay there. Stay low carb, um, um, especially for me. I mean, I'm type two diabetic. Um, I'm gonna you know I'm doing my best to fix it with a diet. Mm -hmm. So the best thing that I can do is just stop eating carbs, um, because mm -hmm. carbs, carbs kick my ass and make me feel terrible. Yep. So and yeah. for for anyone who's ever done a keto diet, you know that the first two weeks are atrocious. You you feel like crap. You feel like you've been had the snot kicked out of you on a regular basis. You're constantly tired. You're in a bad mood. So uh, this diet has. It's taken up about every uh, every every minute of our day uh, for us to stay on track, and we've let our our uh, channel go for uh, for the time being for that time because well we were losing our minds. Yeah, well we had yeah. to um, we kind of had to work with what um, with what was going to be the best for us at that point. Now we're, you know, I, I'm, we're about to start doing this all the time again. Um, I feel much better, even after just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I mean, a ton better. It's because I have not, you know, haven't cheated on the diet one time. You know, we're we're making a lifestyle of it, a lifestyle change. We're not. It's not just a diet change. Mm -hmm. um, We've been doing really well. Yeah, we have. But I'm, I, I'm very. We're very, very sorry that we've we've neglected this because we've we've missed a lot. Yeah, of and we haven't talked to very many of you, anything like that. Um, it's nothing against you. Um, it's just that I kind of had to do this. Just, Becky's talked to you a little more than I have. Um, just imagine us sort of curled up in the back of a cave like Gollum, going, "My precious, my precious." Yeah. Well, <laughs> and and I mean, I realized how bad my health was, and yet starting in November. When this, I, I, I guess it's, a, yeah, when this virus just kicked me all over the place, it was terrible. I felt so bad, um, and I realized my, my health was bad, and I wasn't going to be around that much longer if I don't do something about it. And we decided we wanted to, <clears throat> we wanted to spend the next 50 years together. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're making that happen. Yep, we are, and we're going to continue to make that happen, but... We are back. And, yes. Uh, we're going to keep making videos. Uh, and it's not all going to be about, and I might do some by myself, you know, while I'm here by myself, stuff like that. Yeah. I've been, th I've been uh, kicking around the idea of doing some uh, storytelling with uh, Aesop's Fables and stuff like that. Yeah. So, which I think will be fun. You'll still be booktube. Yeah, you might even, you might even want to start a new channel mm, maybe. for your storytelling eventually. Eventually. Yeah, not, not at first, but yeah. yeah maybe. We'll just see how it goes. Mm. Yep. Okay, so moving on. Yep. We, we have, have a great book haul yeah, for you. Yeah, pretty good sized book haul. Now, this is something I teased a long time ago that I got um, a big old box of books, or that I had bought a big old box of books and it hadn't come in yet. Well, it came in. Uh, it was I, I forgot to count the books. You go ahead and talk. You go ahead and talk about yours, and I'll count. Okay, so my my book haul. Scott has like a book haul of of. Did you say who they were? No. Okay, we're, we're I'll let him do it. Okay, so I have a book haul of all sorts of different things. I've got um, mostly romances and cozies. We uh we got a, a great little 
hall of, of romances in the mail. And one of them has the best worst cover I've ever seen on a romance, and I'm yep. saving it for last. Yep, that, that was the reason I ordered it. <laughs> you can judge a book yeah, by its cover. It has to be seen um, to be believed. And <laughs> uh, so, uh, some of them I actually got at the library. Yeah, Becky went to the library. We all know how much Becky loves libraries. Um, and I, 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 I found a lot of cozy mysteries on sale at the library for there were sale at the library. Cents a piece or a yeah, piece? They're, they're like I think they're a quarter a piece. I think that's right. Yeah. Um, and a dollar for hardcovers. And they're or all like, like this. That. Yeah, they're all like the second or third in the series, but I don't care. Yeah. So I'm. We can, I'm, we can always get the first. And they have some great covers too. So yeah, his turn. All right. So I I have forty three, um, and only one was a double as far as I can tell. From what, from what I see. I might have two or three doubles here. Um, if I do, I may notice it. I may not. But Scott Danielson, you'll have a couple of books coming your way yeah. if I uh, if I have doubles. So, yeah. Did you say who they were from? No. Uh, or what, what the, the author was? Not yet. I'm going to uh, do it when I show you're it. Okay, you're, you're saving it. Yes. You're savoring your surprise. Yep, I'll, I'll start now, though. You're going to have to. You have uh, more than Most that, of these are from the 50s and 60s. There's a couple from the 70s and 80s. Um, almost all of them are ace science fiction, um, books, and they go anywhere from 40 cents to 60 cents, so, um, probably mid to late 50s, and, you know, it is where they start. I sense a lot of these getting read in November. Oh, you bet. Well, I, yeah, maybe, maybe. We're, we're, we're gonna announce that before we, uh, before we finish this, too. But, we have... The Lost Continent by Edgar Rice Burroughs. This is a this is a book haul that is nothing but Edgar Rice Burroughs, or almost nothing but Edgar Rice Burroughs. I bought 43 of these online, and I think I paid between $35 and $40 with shipping uh, for, for the whole lot. And I'm very excited about it because they're 90% of these are in really good readable condition. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and uh, The Land That Time Forgot, Edgar Rice Burroughs. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stop saying Edgar Rice Burroughs because that's what they all are. Beautiful covers. Yeah, they are wonderful They're covers. They're all by ERB. The, the Land of Hidden Men. Very cool. Great cover on that, too. Today I learned I could not read backwards. That looked like Hidden Him to me. <laughs> it's a great cover. Pirates of Venus. That's part of his Venus series. Got a few of those in here. That's awesome. Look at that. Yeah. I, I thought it was cool. Check out this one, too. Out of the Abyss. That That's one I'm going to read pretty soon. It looks great. Um, yeah. And I, and this they is all, a great cover. They and all seem to have Tarzan and Jane. I think cards. I may have two of these. If I do, yeah, I do. I have two of these. Um, I'm not reading this one. This one is going to be put away. It's, it's in kind of rough condition. It's the Moon Man. And the, the exact same one. Um, I'm going to read this one. The other one may just be destined for the trash. Um, I don't know. And let's see. I even have a few of his westerns that came in the book. It's the Bandit, Bandit of Hell's End. Or Hell's Bend. I've got two of these. And one of them's going to go to Scott Danielson. Um... So, I'll put that in a box. When, I mean, anytime I find something that Scott might want to buy it. I wasn't <laughs> so. even aware he, uh, he he wrote Westerns. I, I know nothing about Edgar Rice Burroughs. Yeah, he, wrote, he actually wrote quite a few. I've never read them, but I, but I really do look forward to it. Here, here is one of his, I think it's Pellucidar is how it's pronounced. But it's one, one, of, one of those books, Back to the Stone Age. And, and if I mispronounce that, let me know. I forgot to look it up. It's got a woolly heffalump on the back. Yep. And here is one of my favorite out of all of them that I saw. Jungle Tales of Tarzan. That is one uh -huh. that I'm definitely going to be reading. I may not be able to read that copy, though. But if not, I'm going to have to get a... Oh, the spine's broken, but none of the pages are coming loose. Yeah. We might be able to fix that. It might be readable. You just yeah. have to get just some cotton gloves and don't breathe on, breathe on it too yeah. hard. The Monster Men. 
So I love that cover too. Check, got, check that he, one out. He, he got him a worm. Yeah. It's the creature He's, from the Black Lagoon. With bug eyes. With way written way before the creature from the Black Lagoon was was out there. That's kind so. of an awful cover. <laughs> yeah. the, the Eternal Savage. I love that. That is really That's cool. That's great. Yeah. This is a Tarzan novel. Hmm. Yep. And this one, it might be the first one I read, uh, because I could I could get through this in in a sitting. It's the Lost Continent. What? This is the second one. Oh, it is. Yeah, put that there for Scott. Okay, I'll find out if Scott has any of these. Uh, let's see. Is this? Yeah, it was the first one we showed. Okay, yeah, this is not Tarzan. I thought maybe it was. It's the Lad and the Lion. And the Witch in the Wardrobe. <laughs> Master of Adventure. Uh, this is Edgar Rice Burroughs' Master of Adventure by Richard A. Lupoff. This is actually not uh, an Edgar Rice Burroughs' book, but it, is, but it takes place in, in his world. You get a heavy, one of his worlds. get a heavy jungle book vibe from the animals on the front. And I believe this one here has a cover by, hmm. is it Frank Frazetta? So this is actually about Edgar Rice Burroughs. The illustrated inside story of Tarzan, ah. Pellucidar, Barsoom, and the many wonderful worlds of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Okay. That's cool. I, I, I probably need to read that before I read anything by Edgar Rice yeah, Burroughs. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to see who did this cover here before I show it. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure that's Frank Frazetta. Um, if anybody knows, let me know who, who did this. It, it looks a ton like a Frank Frazetta cover. Don't you think? Yeah. Very nice. Did he do a lot of the Conan covers? Yes. Is that okay? Yep. Is that that's thoroughly Conan esque? Yep. We got the writer. Not sure. Not sure what that one's about. That's a cool cover. It is though. a cool cover. I love that one. One of my favorites. This is another one of my favorite covers. Kind of looks like Batman. This is this one is from nineteen. This one was uh, published in nineteen sixty six, or this this version was the Outlaw of Torn. Um, I, I like that cover. Very That's cool. A great cover. Yep. Um, hmm. Here is Pellucidar, the original. And again, if I'm mispronouncing that, let me know. Miss. And here, I like that cover too. That's really cool. One of my least favorite covers of all of them is this one right here, Lost on Venus. Um, very cool though, and uh, part of his Venus series. Hmm. The Deputy Sheriff of Comanche County by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Um, I've never read one of his um, Western. westerns, but I really look forward to that one. <laughs> the Moon Maid, Edgar Rice Burroughs. I think these may be a series, the Moon Books. I'm not sure. I have to. If you know, let me let me know. I don't know as much about Edgar Rice Burroughs as I want to know, and that's the reason I bought this. Because I can, I can read a ton of his stuff now. It's another Venus book. Carson of Venus. That's a cool cover. Yep. Did, is this the yeah. second one of these I've got? The people of the time forgot? I don't know. We'll have to look and see. Oh, here's the second of the writer. Scott, That's a dark cover. Scott Danielson, if you don't have that one, you can have it. <laughs> the people of the time forgot. Hand me that one back. I'll give that one to Scott and I'll keep this one. Cool. That cover makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some of the books you, they would call problematic these days. In, in uh, that quotes. Co that cover's rapey. I don't care what you say. I know it does. <laughs> at, at the Earth's core. That looks really, really good. I, I, li I like that cover. It's got brontosaurus is on the back. Yeah. Um, another one of these novels. Tenar of Pellucidar. Yep. Here's another another one. Back to the Stone Age, which I think I've already seen this. But this one's not in very good condition, so I'll have to keep both. <laughs> oh, this is the one that's got the woolly heffalump on the back. <laughs> the Cave Girl. All right. He liked his scantily clad women. Well, yeah. Who does it? Was right? a time, it was a time for that. <laughs> the Mad King. 
Looks looks really cool. Does. Yep. Sorry, I just got a few more, folks. Um, Lost on Venus. Hey, don't we have that one? I think so. I think we just had that one. I think so too. But uh, we'll we'll make we'll make do later. <laughs> oh, but can I read that one? Hey, yeah. Okay. And the Scott pile. Yep. The Eternal Savage. And speaking of uh, Scott Danielson, if you don't watch his channel, please go do that. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll leave it in the notes. He's um, awesome. Yeah, we'll we'll leave a link in the notes. Um, the Eternal Savage. I think we have this one too. Do we? Hold on. That cover looks really familiar. Tarzan. It's another Tarzan novel. Maybe. It is. No, I mean I, we oh. might have the. <laughs> we, we might. We might. I, uh, it'll go in the Scott. Tarzan and list. the Jewels of Opar. Yeah. You can't mispronounce that one. It's another rapey scene in the back. I swear. <laughs> um, the mucker. So I'll be reading this probably very soon. Oh. I have. It takes place in Chicago. The third Tarzan book. Uh, oh, oh, these are the Valentine books, by the way. We just got to these. The Valentine books. Valentine. Valent Valentine. Valentine. Yeah, it's not Valentine. It's Valentine. The Beast of Tarzan. That's way off. It, that's the third Tarzan book. Again, very excited to have these Tarzan books. Um, I have a few, but I don't have that one. We we have a, a first edition Tarzan book in there, don't we? Without without a dust jacket. Summers, yeah. Yeah. The War Chief, Edgar Rice Burroughs. This is one of his westerns from Valentine. And a, re a really famous cover, yep. too, actually. Here's the 14th Tarzan book, Tarzan the Invincible. Well, so there weren't, Tarzan as many, there weren't as many Tarzan books as here as I, in here as I was hoping, but for less than 40 bucks for 43 Edgar Rice Burroughs books. Yeah, can't miss a scantily no. clad woman. Yeah, of course not. Apache Devil. I'm sure this one is going to be nice. And, As a scantily clad man. Uh, nice and offens offensive to a lot of people. <laughs> I gave it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's even got horns. Yeah. Jesus. Edgar Rice right. Burroughs. Tarzan at the Earth's Core. Tarzan book number 13. That's Very a, cool. Nice. Valentine. Too. I got two Del Rey books, and, and the, the one's coming up. And the one I was absolutely the most excited about was The Son of Tarzan, book four. I've been looking for this for a while, haven't been able to find it. And I luckily got it in this box. I wasn't expecting it. So cool. Milga for a. I, I could have bought it online, but I really wanted to buy a used copy. And I, I found it. I, I wanted to buy a used copy. There's a lot of, a so, lot going on in that cover scene. Look at that. That's fantastic. One of the Mars novels. Um, it only came with one of these, as far as I know. I don't know if any of those others were Mars novels. I don't mm, think so. I don't think so. Um, yeah, and it's Swords of Mars, book eight. I have the first four, I believe, or five in a in a uh, volume. Here's book eight. I'll, I'll try to get the rest. Um, and, th and that's a Del Rey book, and I got one more Del Rey, and it's uh, Land of Terror, which I think I may have already come across. If I came across Land of Terror yet, then this will be Scott's. Can't remember. Yeah. The, the, the one-eyed alien got his hands on the scantily clad woman. Oh, yeah. I see. There she is. She's, yep. She's not putting up much of a fight. I don't mean that happened in the book. Steve <laughs> Steve Donahue could tell us. I think he's probably <laughs> read each one a bunch of times. Probably. Here, here, go ahead and put that in there and we'll find out. We'll go with him again. And now you can go through yours. That was my 43 Edgar Rice Burroughs books that I got. Moving on to some fluff. Okay. You think so, those aren't fluff? That's all they are. That, no, I mean, no, they're... No. He is not. He is not high art, and nobody ever confused him as high art, as, as far as I know. We'll call that macho fluff. Yeah, I guess. There's, there's too many scantily clad men and women on the covers <laughs> not to be. I'll enjoy them. <laughs> um, so amongst my books, I got I got a Heather Graham novel. I was surprised. I haven't read much Heather Graham. Like the only thing I have read was by the the Crew of Hunter was the first Crew of Hunters book, which I'm gonna get back into. Cause I liked that first book. Um, this is a it's a Christmas book. I love Christmas books. 
love Christmas. You pretty well save books. them till Christmas, though. This oh, and, and the lady we buy books from on hmm. Facebook, um, these were her mother's books, and her mother clipped. Steve, Steve Donahue, you'll be happy. You, you'll think this is cool. I think she clipped all the reviews that she could find out of Romantic Times, mm -hmm. and put and put them in the book. Um, this particular one, and we we have found a bunch of these mm -hmm. uh, because we bought hundreds of books from this lady on Facebook. Oh yeah. If you want to know, uh, if you want romance novels, like uh, especially category romance novels or some historicals. And you want them cheap? I'm talking 25 to 50 cents, and she'll send them to you. Uh, she only charges cost on the postage. Then let me know, um, and I'll send you her name and um, where where we buy these on Facebook. So the next one, I'm not sure I'll ever read. It uh, it's called The Devil on Horseback by Victoria Holt. Um, Victoria Holt, she's a a, a little. A little bit grittier than I usually like, and there's lots of betrayal and and like like says he was a notorious philanderer, perhaps even a murderer. But Manella could not get him out of her mind. I could get him out of my mind. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, this one's a zebra regency romance. It's called F how would you say that? Fabia or Fabia? Fabia. Fabia's choice um, by Violet Hamilton. Yeah, Look at that. We have a bunch of zebra regencies. Is that gorgeous or what? I can't wait to read that. And here's a Harlequin regency, which these are not the easiest to find. This, uh, yeah, no, it it came with a sticker on it. It's probably gonna tear the cover. No, distract them. Keep um, talking. I'm, but huh. this exa this exact series is not the easiest to find. It had a sticker on it. Harlequin Harlequin regencies. Now they still they still. Uh, put out regencies, but they're under the the umbrella of um, Harlequin historicals. Yeah, Th these weren't these were actual Harlan Har Jesus Harlequin regencies. Uh, this one's called a Cheltenham comedy. It's actually probably something like Cheltenham comedy or something, but it's uh, Cheltenham Cheltenham <laughs> by Margaret Westhaven. What's up with the glare? I like it. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, nice cover. It really is. I like, I, I, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, we're going to read that one because we've never read a Harlequin Regency. Now this one's a zebra regency, and it's called A Single Season by Dor Dorothea Con Donnelly. Donnelly. Dorothea Donnelly. <laughs> Look at that. I love the covers on the regencies. I They're so beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, then we have this one. Again, it's, it's kind of... We have, uh, we have two we have two in this series we have River Witch and Moon Witch yeah but I'm 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 going to read these um but there's they're they're all based around the idea of betrayal and I don't I don't I'm not a fan of romances like that because it is is it's just anxiety inducing you know what I mean I like fluff but look at it it's beautiful so yeah I'm going to have to read these just kids got witch in them on them um. The next I got, actually, we got it at the, the library. It's called A Fatal Yarn by Peggy Earhart. And um, look at the cover. They're adorable. This is not the first one. Um, it's actually part of... Is that yeah, part of the same series? Part of the same series. I got both of these at the, uh, the library, which I'm really excited about. Because uh, I really want to read this series, and I'm looking forward to it so much. And if any of you have read it, I'm sure some Surely of you have. Surely some, some of them have. Let yeah. me know. I'd bet. I'd bet Cozy. Here, um, get these. these for, Cozy, the, for Cozy Reads Mystery has, the rest has of read the them. Romance ones. Um, this one is just a straight up historical romance. It's called "Say Yes to the Duke" <laughs> from the Wilds of Linlow Castle series. Um, El Eloisa James. Eloisa James is awesome. She is. She's a great author, and I can't wait to read this one. <gasps> it's got half a step back cover. And, and, and it's not. It's not racy or horrible. Well, he's he's half naked, but still, it's beautiful. Look at that. I love the ringlets in her hair. She's so pretty. This one is another uh, historical. It's called Forbidden to Love the Duke. There are lots of dukes in these stories. They're, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're everywhere. Open it up. There are dime a dozen. Oh, uh -huh. well, that's about as plain as it Some gets, Some women isn't it? are made for scandal. 
about as yeah, plain not. as they it gets. They sort of fall face first in the scandal. That's cheap. Yeah, they're cheating. Yeah. All right, this la this one is by Leslie Meyer. It's called Wicked Witch Murder. I've never heard biggin. I've never heard of the series, but I'm here for it. I've heard of Leslie Meyer. I yeah. see her all the time. I need yeah. It's a Lucy Stone mystery. I need to uh, find the first of that series. I, I think that was kind of into the series. Yeah. Um, this is called a uh, a hive of homicides. Is that a henny? I wasn't talking to you. Um, a henny penny farm at mystery. Shush you. It's by Mira Lester. <laughs> but I got this. I just snapped this one up. I don't even have a clue what it's about because it has a doggy on it. But I love my dog. Uh, yeah, he's cozies. He's a cutie. Uh, I think that. we're gonna leave it there. A honey Link, of Link crime. is under my chair asleep. <laughs> I don't like it when he does that because I'm fat and I can break chairs. <laughs> Shut up. Stop that. All right, the next one is <laughs> One Feta in the Grave. It's a kebab, <laughs> a kebab Kitchen Mystery by Tina Cashian. Kebab. It's, is you it just, kebab? Yeah. Kebab. It's kebab. Kebab. You've heard of shish kebab or kebabs? Yes, but I've also heard of kebab. Well, it depends on where you're from, but we're from the South, so it's kebab. Okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. from the South. I'm from the Midwest. <laughs> if I was a little from farther north in like Minnesota, it'd be kebab. But it's not. It's Where's kebab. Where's the kebab? <laughs> All right. It's by Tina Cashian. And it's got a cat on the front, but I won't hold it against it. Um, I, I, Like I said, I don't know what any of these are, but it was 25 cents. Yeah, and you will read them. I mean, once we get the rest of them. Oh, is that another one? Oh, no, these I'm actually really excited about because they're, they're interesting. They're a series by... Uh, oh, hold on. Mar okay, huh? That's from the same series. Oh! This. Oh! I got two from the kebabs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Stabbed in the ba I'm sorry. Stabbed in the Baklava. <laughs> <laughs> That's another reason I picked this series up because the puns are just right on point. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to read Where would this. the baklava be? Like the balaclava and the baklava. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> uh, all right, so this series is actually by Margaret Cole. And they, and Cole, Cole? C-O-E-L? Cole, C -O -E -L. I don't know. Um, and they take place on a, a Native American reservation. And the main character is a Native American. And I'm, I'm excited about that. Um... This is the Ghost Walker, and this is the Silent Spirit. There are Wind River mysteries, and I can't wait to read these. Um, but yeah, I was I was really excited about these when I picked them up. Yep, looking forward to them. Yeah, those look really cool. There are they uh, cozies? Not exactly, I right? Might, I think they might be straight up mysteries. But okay. I'm, I might read those. Maybe not. I mean, not, not that I don't like cozies, because I, I do. I have I was surprised to find out I do like cozies. Here lately, I've been reading comic books and tons of them. So, my my reading uh, has been has been weird. Um, I can't sit... Right now, I, I'm having trouble sitting down and reading anything heavy or big or anything like that. Mm. It started... Well, that, it's, that, it's, that's well, what started me on this diet path and this lifestyle change path, mostly because um, water everywhere. I couldn't concentrate. I was so sick I couldn't concentrate, and, and I got tired of it. It's only gotten worse with the the keto flu, but we're back on track yeah, now. Yeah, we're okay now. Um, the second to last book I've got is a cupcake bakery mystery, is by Jen McKinley, and it's called Going Going Ganache. <laughs> Going, going ganache. Um, ganache I, to us. I have no idea why I'm giving ganache you this Ganache to northerners. Of these, but, oh. Including northeasterners. They're going to say ganache. Like to um, Steve and some of those people up there, it would be ganache. Ganache. And that's okay. It's ganache. It's ganache. No, it's ganot. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> going, going ganache. I've... <laughs> I've never read this series. I've never read any... I don't think I've ever read anything by Jen McKinley. So... You have some of her stuff in the bedroom. Yeah, and I think I actually have some stuff up there. Okay. I'm, so I'm, I'm, she's pretty popular. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, she's pretty popular. And last but not least... Yes. This is the best. You're not ready for this. I picked I picked this. I bought this for Becky. Um, <laughs> there is no way we, we could pass this up. 
I wasn't ready for this. They're not ready. Are you ready for this? Okay, here it is. It's called The Night, K-N-I-G-H-T, The Night Before Christmas by Jackie Ivy. <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> I can't believe that, that that cover is actually on a commercial book. It's amazing. He's even got the tart in the cross. Oh, it must be a Highlander novel. Oh, no. <laughs> it's great. Yep. <sighs> I love it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but those are, our, that, but that's our book haul. We, um, um, I'll tell you what, instead of doing, um, our little announcement video, on this, let's just do another video. And, I like and it. We'll, and we'll put it out on there. This is an, th this is us letting you know where we've been, um, where it's going, which we're, we're, we're getting started on doing this again. We might have to find another place to do this unless we can get an air conditioner in this room. Lord have mercy, because, it's 400 degrees in here. Yeah, and, and it, it's only 60 degrees outside. And it's got to be 80 in here. So mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be... Uh, when, when it hits 90 degrees outside or 95 degrees outside, it's going to be 85, 90 degrees in here or even 100. So yeah. we're, we're, I think we might end up having to put a an air conditioner either in that window or that one. Yeah, we've got two windows in this room that, and there's like sunlight pouring through them uh, like nine out of 10 hours of the day that there's sunlight. AC so, does no good in here. Yeah, th our house is put together with duct tape and a prayer. So, there's, yeah, the, <laughs> the rules of air conditioning don't apply. Yeah, and we can put a fan in the doorway, but you, it, but, it but sounds you like hear it. Yeah. the whole time we're doing this. So, yep. yeah, we're going to have to put an air conditioner in here. It's we might end up having to do it. the fan before mm. we can afford to put air conditioning in here. <laughs> It'll just look like we're in a wind tunnel. Yeah. It'll be great. But anyway... That's it for this video. We we've missed you. Yeah, we have. We're we're glad we're glad to be back. We're glad we're doing this again. I mean, it was only a couple of months, but we thought we thought we owed an explanation. Mm. Becky did a couple videos after after I did. Um, this was mostly because of me because I felt so bad. But yeah, we'll we'll be back with with a video. Well, same time as this one, pretty much. Mm-hmm. The, they're going to be released at the same time, and we'll see you then. Yeah, all right. Your books are calling. Go read.